first of all we will discuss about the selection different genotypes reproduce differently in a population as a result genetically variable population develops we select the plants with superior characters from this genetically variable population and collect their seeds for growing next generation this process is called as selection self and cross pollinated crops show differences such as self pollinated crops are homozygous while cross pollinated crops are heterozygous self pollinated crops do not show inbreeding depression while cross pollinated crops show inbreeding depression the first method of crop improvement in self pollinated crops is mass selection in mass selection plants with similar and superior phenotypes are selected and their seeds are mixed up as a mass to develop new variety suppose there are seven plants in a row we observe the plants for superiority and similarity and we found that plant number 2 4 6 and 7 are similar and superior hence we select the plant number 2 4 6 and 7 for further activities now collect the seeds from selected plants separately now mixed up their seeds as a mass this mass of seeds represent a new variety we can elaborate the mass selection method by generalized outline in first year 200 to 1000 superior and similar plants are selected from a genetically variable population of crop plants now collect the seeds and mixed up as a mass in second year mass of seeds is tested by initial yield trials use of standard varieties as a check to compare the yield micro evaluate the populations obtained from selection in third to fifth year coordinated yield trials are organized for selected populations superior from check varieties if the selected population found superior in all characters it is released as a new variety in 6th year seeds of new released variety are multiplied and are distributed in farmers the second method of crop improvement in self pollinated crops is pure line selection in pure line selection many superior plants are selected from a population collect their seeds separately and grow individual plant progenies now from these most superior individual plant progenies are selected and released as a new variety suppose there are 8 plants in a row we observe the plants for superiority and similarity and we found that plant number 1 3 4 6 and 8 are superior and similar hence we select the plant number 1 3 4 6 and 8 for further activities now collect the seeds from selected plants separately now we grow them separately and obtain individual plant progenies now we look for most superior individual plant progenies suppose we found number 3 now release it as a new variety we can elaborate the pure line selection method by generalized outline in first year 200 to 2000 superior plants are selected from a genetically variable population it may be desi or old variety which is a mixture of pure lines now collect the seeds separately from selected plants in second year 
grow these seeds separately to produce individual plant progenies inferior and undesired progenies are discarded superior and desired progenies are selected in third year initial yield trials are held for superior progenies prevalent superior varieties is used as a check in fourth to sixth years coordinated yield trials are organized for superior progenies disease resistance and quality are tested most superior progenies are released as a new variety in seventh year seeds of released variety are multiplied and distributed in farmers